Good morning. A few weeks ago, I reviewed my top four AI content writers for WordPress, but today I'm going to show you a completely new one and it's almost perfect. Let's get into it. So there were four areas where I was looking for my personal AI writer to improve upon if I was going to use it over and above just using native chat GPT. And those were one, it needed to be built into the Gutenberg block editor natively. Two, it needed to be fast, ideally as quick as using Jack GBT. Number three, I needed to be able to re-edit the content after I prompted it. And number four, ideally, I'd love to be able to preset my writing style. So here's a quick demo. I'm gonna start by typing forward slash AI and that will prompt the bot to open up. And now I can type what I like. So I'm gonna say, write a short history of CSS and it goes away and you can immediately see it seems to be really quick and we've got some good content coming back here. But what's really cool about this plugin is we can now reprompt it. So you'll see up here I can go try again or down here I can accept it. So let's go try again and it's going to basically I can reissue the prompt which is fantastic. So I can start to re-edit this but I can do more than that as I'm about to show you. So I can also click on this little pencil icon here to improve it so I can make it longer or make it shorter. So this was missing from a lot of the other tools that I was previously reviewing. This for me actually makes it almost better than using ChatGPT. So let's make this a bit longer and see how we go. It's gonna reissue the prompt, making it a little bit longer. I still haven't accepted it yet, so we're still working on the same piece of content, which is fantastic. You'll see when I click on the list view here, we're actually still working within the single block, the AI assistant experimental block. We haven't transformed this into blocks, but you'll see when I accept this, that actually happens. We can do more though. So we could got this option here where we can actually translate this into different languages. And this option here is super cool. We can actually change the tone. So if you're not happy with the tone of this, you can come in here and say, right, I want this to be humorous and click on that. And it's gonna reissue the prompt again, but now it's gonna be a little bit funny. So now we are actually remolding the content, which is exactly what I was looking for in the other AI writers that I was working with. Now you can see I can choose to accept this, which I'm happy with, I accept it. As soon as you do that, it gets transformed into native blocks, native Gutenberg blocks. And now we can do all the block type things that we want to. Let me show you a few other cool features as well. So I've already got some content in this page, but you can see if I add another AI block down here, I have this option right with AI, and there's some really cool options in here. So your first one up here is continue writing. So if you have a piece of content and you wanna make it longer, you just click on continue writing, and it's gonna add some more content based on your previous content. There are some other really nice options in here as well. Based on your preceding content, you can say correct spelling and grammar, or you can simplify. So you click on simplify. It's gonna look at your preceding content and give you a simplified version of it. There we go, fantastic. You've also got some options in here, which are super cool. Things like summarizing the entire content on your post. So maybe you wanna create a little summary at the top of your post. And you can also generate a post title based on the content in your page and there we go it's just created me a nice post title and i can replace that one up there with my brand new post title and also the integration into the block editor goes even deeper and i think this gives us a glimpse of where this is going my prediction is we're going to be able to use a tool like this to create actual layouts on our sites fairly soon but here's where we're at today so i put a prompt in which is create a table of the last 10 winners of the english premier league and you'll see we've got a lovely table here with all the winners let's accept it and that turns that immediately into a Gutenberg table block. And now we can do all the normal things we can actually do because it's a Gutenberg table block. The only thing missing for me at the moment with this AI writer is I can't pre-train it with my writing style. I'd love to be able to pre-configure the style and the tone and my writing and ideally show it some of my writing and train it on my style and then it just produces writing in the same style that I write. That would be amazing. That would really take it to the next level. So you're probably sitting there thinking, well, what is this? What is this AI writer? Well, it's the Jetpack AI writer that's just been released a couple of weeks ago. It's still labeled as experimental. And I know that Jetpack over the years has had a certain amount of negative feedback, but this kind of blew me away, actually. It's so beautiful to use, so elegantly written, and it's a tool that I would absolutely use, probably over and above ChatGBT. Jetpack's AI Assistant is free for WordPress.com users, and at the moment, it's $10 a month if you use it as a plugin on a WordPress.org self-hosted website. But this is a fast-moving space for sure, so if you want to keep up to date with the latest AI content writers, 
hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new video because I'm focusing in on AI and WordPress at the moment. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit the like button, it would be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. Thanks again for watching. Remember, hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with everything AI, WordPress, and the blog editor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.